Hello everybody, welcome to Monoglossium. We have a special guest today. Can you please say who you are? Hello, I'm Miglikas and Alex Susan. What's your name? My name is Stefan. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. Okay, almost 12 maybe. Mm. Okay, uh, what exam did you take today? Today I did the exam Delve. Delve, but you have to give more information. Which level? Uh, B, B1. Okay, the regular version or the version scolaire junior? Version scolaire junior. Mm -hmm. And how did it go? And uh, I did really well. It was easy. You think it was easy? Yes. Okay. Um, so can you just explain to our viewers very briefly what it consisted of? It was in two parts, right? Yes. So the first part consisted of the listening, reading and writing exercises, right? Yes. Or what they call the collective exercises. Mm -hmm. while the second part was the speaking. Yes. And of course the first one was much longer than the second one, right? Yes, um, much more difficult. Much more difficult even. Okay, so you had to wait the whole afternoon in your case because it was alphabetical order. Yes. Okay, um, so I can tell you have a good feeling about it. What do you think was the most challenging part of it? Maybe to write a, a, a text that it was long. 160 words. You think that's long? 160 words, it's long? Mm, I did it for 45 minutes. Okay. I hope you took the time to edit, mm. you took the time to plan it a little before you started yeah. writing. Yeah. Okay, can you tell us what the topic was? The topic was about to present a type of museum, mm -hmm. a, a type of cultural and linguistic like a little bit like a project to talk about it with a friend. Okay, okay, that sounds pretty cool. Did it have to be in the format of a letter? Yes, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A letter to who? A letter to a, to to a, a friend. friend, yes, okay. The writing very often tends to be in, in this format. Okay, so that was the writing. Uh, let us go a bit back. How was the listening? It was easy. Mm -hmm. I always used it the second time. Yes, you didn't write anything the first time, just the second? I I wrote almost everything the first time. Mm -hmm. And then the two, the one or two exercises that had left, I did that the second time. Okay, and was there a lot to fill in or was it mostly just ticking something, ticking the right answer? It was mostly ticking. Okay, uh, so I suppose it's important when you have to write something to make sure you write it fast and you write it correctly. Yeah. Because you can it lose is. points otherwise. Okay, and now let's talk briefly about the reading. Were there two exercises? The Yes, they were. Okay, usually they select topics that would be of interest to a young audience. Was it the case? Um, it was about get, getting a house. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Buying and, a house? Or? No, to rent a uh, house. Renting a house, okay. Or a hotel, uh -huh. even camping. Uh -huh. And also, we had to we had to read a text and reply to the questions. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that was the first exercise and the second, right? Yes. Okay, so one text was 
about renting a place and what about the second one what was it about it was about a story like a story like it was like a little bit like a presentation like an organizations with teachers reading to kids okay that sounds cool lots of topics have to do with uh, school activities yes they do okay and did you feel like you had enough time yes i definitely had enough time. okay you even finished a little bit early with it yes okay but for the writing you stayed until the last moment right Yes, I want to make sure it was okay. Okay, is this what you advise other test takers to do? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, also, you said that you really liked the atmosphere, that people were very nice. Yes, even though it was a public school. Even though it was a public school, okay. So, we can tell our audience that it was not your school, it was... Um, a school where everyone from the region was gathered to to take the Delph exam. Mm, yes, there was also a kid from my school who went to the Delph too, and we we talked a lot. Mm-hmm, so and you... we became friends. Okay, that's excellent. Even though you're not the same grade level, right? Yes. She's older than you. Okay, actually between us, guys, Stefan is 11 years old and you're supposed to be 12 or over 12, between 12 and 18 in order to take this exam. But he took it anyway. I don't know if they will cut him some slack because of his age. We're not expecting that, of course. Um... What could you bring to the exam? Could you have your own paper, water? Um, maybe maybe you could maybe you could drink if you ask for it. You could bring your pen, pencils, it you know so erasers and. You're talking like an American. Erasers? I say rubber. Rubber. It's all the same. Don't worry. If you prefer eraser, that's fine. Fine. <laughs> I oh. hear it more often. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> all right. Eraser. Okay. Rubber. Rubber. No, but it's all the same. Don't worry. Um, so, let's finally, let's talk about the speaking exam, please. So... Let us explain. There are three parts. The first part is you have to present yourself and then they asked you a couple of additional questions. Yeah. What did they ask you? They, they asked me to take a paper. This is clear. What did they ask you when you were presenting yourself? Did they ask you something like, what are your hobbies? Or did they not ask you anything at all? Mm. Yes, they they asked me where I lived, also with, to which school I am going. Mm-hmm. How what I, school you go to? Mm-hmm. How it is in Bulgaria? Mm-hmm. Oh, they did. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe they were interested. That's cool when you feel like you can really catch the examiner's interest because they've been there all day examining people and they need something interesting too, you know? Yes. Okay, so the second task was you picked two pieces of paper, two subjects, and you had to choose one of the two and return the other one, right? Yes. And yours was... And these are dialogues, right? Like role-playing with the examiner. Can you briefly share what your topic was? Or maybe even read about it in French, if you wish? It was about planning uh, reserving tickets for the cinema. Uh-huh. And, and, and for... Hmm, for yourself and other people, uh-huh. then going there and any, 
and there aren't any places left for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, usually it's about some kind of problem that you Mm -hmm. have to solve. Okay, great. And the third task, it also involves drawing two pieces of paper and returning one. But this one is a bit more complicated, right? You have to read a short article and then present it along with your own opinions about the subject, right? Mm, Yes. So what was it about? It was about mm, planes polluting, that we must stop using planes. Mm -hmm. We have to tell what we think about. Okay, excellent. And you even said that they told you you did well, that you you used the right words. Yes, weirdly enough. Maybe <laughs> because I'm young. Maybe. Well, that's sweet of them because I thought, you know, I, I warned you, like, they're not going to say anything nice to you. They're not supposed to. So don't let that discourage you. But they even did, which is very sweet. Mm. Okay, so... Finally, do you have any words of advice for people who are planning to take this exam? Practice a lot. Practice a lot. Did you? Yes, I did. (laughs) Did someone make sure you do? Yes, my parents. (laughs) Well, okay. Lucky you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Stefan Stupak with information about taking the Delft version junior scolaire. Niveau B1, the B1 level. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.